When you look at the greats of tennis, the present era continues to defy expectations. Oh, can you believe that? Today's big title kings boast a stunning consistency, producing win after win when it matters most. Djokovic wins, and in doing so, creates a little bit of history. Combining victories at Grand Slams, Barclays ATP World Tour Finals and ATP World Tour Masters 1000 events, three players stand out. The world tour obviously set the bar extremely high, Rafa came along and matched him, then Novak has obviously raised the bar again. Three of the greatest players of all time, all in one era, all in one generation. My goodness, these guys are sensational. He's one of the biggest fighters. Rafael Nadal. A moment of magic from Nadal. I love Nadal, he's a competitor, he's a fighter, so it's good for tennis, comes back. I think it's important for Nadal how he's playing and how well he's doing. I think he can do really well. Oh, it's incredible tennis. Absolutely sensational. The Spaniard is still a force, having won an ATP World Tour Masters 1000 title this year in Monte Carlo. Rafa remains a king among kings. Oh, sensational from Nadal. I tried my best and I, all the things that I did, I did with the right passion. He's back in the winner's circle. But when you mention big wins, one name always springs to mind. You run out of superlatives to, to describe Roger. With 17 Grand Slams and 47 big titles in total, Roger Federer has rewritten history. I love watching how uh, Federer can make such a physical game look so effortless and graceful. Oh, it's exquisite feel from Federer. For me, the greatest player of all time, the most beautiful of players, Roger Federer. Everybody loves Roger, the way he plays, the way he acts on the court uh, as a sportsman. The longer he stays in tennis, the better it is for tennis. It's that deep feeling you have inside of yourself that you're just very proud and you feel like all the hard work has all come and paid off. A moment of federal magic there. However, it's no surprise the world number one is joint top when it comes to big titles. And Novak Djokovic holds the record for most ATP World Tour Masters 1000 wins, with 30 in total. And Novak Djokovic becomes the Rogers Cup champion for the fourth time in his illustrious career. To get a thousand title, it's, I think, almost uh, as difficult as, uh, as to get a Grand Slam title. Well, I think there were only four or five guys beside uh, the big four who won a thousand title in the last couple of years, so it's unbelievably tough. The Serbian continues to break records, thanks to his astonishing consistency. Novak's the best player in the world, and uh, he's, he's made that clear over the last many years, actually. You need to be able to, to be consistent in many different levels. Of course, physically, you need to try to avoid injuries and organize your schedule in such a way to always set up your, your best form for the, for the big ones, for Grand Slams and for Master Series events. And of course, it adds a little bit of an extra pressure because you know, you know that you have to do well the big events in order to, um, to, to, to stay at the top of the men's game, but that's why you work for and being able to make the history, of course, is a privilege and it's a huge motivation and inspiration to, uh, to come out and play my best tennis. It is a golden age in men's tennis. The big title kings lead the way. Next week on ATP World Tour Uncovered, the big one in the Big Apple. The 2016 US Open gets underway. And we've an exclusive with an American player making waves, Steve Johnson. Don't forget to log on to atpworldtour.com and chat with us on the ATP's official social network, MyATP, powered by Vixlet, and on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. See you next week.